Family and friends of Columbia GS, please welcome the graduating class of 2024.
congratulations to the class of 2024. Good morning, graduates, families, and friends. I am Lisa Rosenmetsch, the Dean of the Columbia University School of General Studies, or GS as we know it. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the 2024 Columbia GS Class Day Ceremony. Welcome to all the family members who have been your incredible teachers and supporters. Welcome to the faculty who have championed you, taught you, and given you the Columbia education that you came here for. We are honored to be joined today by Executive Vice President and Dean of the Faculty of the Arts and Sciences, Amy Hungerford. I would like to extend a warm welcome to the deans, faculty, and colleagues from our partner institutions, including Amy Kalmanowski, Dean of Liss College at the Jewish Theological Seminary. Our partner institutions have joined us to celebrate the graduation of students in our joint and dual degree bachelor programs. Our dual degree students have earned two bachelor's degrees in four years. One from our partner institution and one from Columbia. I also extend a special welcome to our class day speaker, Troy Murphy, GS class of 2016, who I will more formally introduce in a few minutes. Welcome to members of the GS Board of Visitors, members of the Executive Board of the GS Alumni Association, and all of the GS alumni who have joined us. I would like to also, and please join me in recognizing your excellent advising deans and the entire GS team who work hard on your behalf every day. <laughs> Finally, I extend a very special welcome to all the family and friends who are here today, some whom have waited for this moment the moment to hear your name called and to see you walk across the stage, and they have waited for a very long time. I acknowledge how challenging these last few weeks have been for our university and for you. I am grateful to all of our family members and supporters and loved ones of our graduates who came here today. I know how important you, our graduates, are to each of them, and this is an incredibly incredible moment for them to celebrate you today. Class of 2024, I would like to ask you to stand up, turn around, and thank those who have supported you who are here in person, live stream, or in spirit. Thank you. I would like to ask you to turn back around, but stay standing, and to take a moment to thank the people here on the stage and the faculty that are watching live stream, the incredible faculty of the arts and sciences. Please take a moment to acknowledge them. Please be seated. As the ninth dean of Columbia GS and the very proud first alumna to be dean of this exceptional school, I am so proud that our school stands as a beacon for the future of higher education in our society. The creation of Columbia GS in 1947 after World War II for men and women returning from military service represents a milestone in the evolution of undergraduate education at Ivy League universities. What makes Columbia GS unique is that we actively recruit students who have forged an untraditional path in life and academics, 
and we integrate them fully into our distinguished, rigorous undergraduate program. We are also the, you know, you can go ahead and recognize that. We are also the incubator for innovative dual and joint degree programs that offer students a unique opportunity to engage with cutting edge international education. We are extremely proud of our students from Sciences Po, Trinity, Co Trin Trin Trinity College Dublin, City University of Hong Kong, and Tel Aviv University. What makes Columbia GS unique is also is our student population, which is like no other. Columbia GS students are first generation college students, 180 of whom will be graduating today. The largest in any Ivy League college. We are the academic home to performing artists, parents, fashion models, filmmakers, community college graduates, musicians, entrepreneurs, new Americans, and international students. I am very proud that Columbia GS is the destination Ivy for student veterans, 80 of whom will be graduating today. Our GS students bring so much to their class discussions with your, their intellect, lived experience, diverse backgrounds, and without a doubt, our GS students make the Columbia undergraduate classroom like no other. <laughs> Members of the class of 2024, all 600 of you, it has been an honor to get to know so many of you personally while you were studying here at Columbia. I am profoundly impressed with your resilience, strength, determination, kindness, and dedication to one another while completing your studies at this challenging and sobering time in the world. You have navigated enormous challenges. Many of you started your studies online during the first year of the COVID pandemic, and you have now finished your exams online. During your time in college, we've experienced a profound mental health crisis in the United States, while simultaneously we have seen the most severe overdose epidemic in the country's history. These issues have contributed collectively to a troubling decline in life expectancy across the U.S. Moreover, rapid technological advancements, while offering so much opportunity, have also left society struggling to adapt, and the, as the pace of change outstrips our capacity to keep up. And in this last year, the ongoing conflict in the Middle East has resulted in significant fractures and crises within our Columbia community. To all of you graduating today, I ask for your help as we do the hard work that lies ahead, bringing our community together and finding ways to engage and support each other, even when we disagree. I know that your studies here at Columbia have imprinted on you the intellectual tools and habits of mind that will enable you to tackle our world's most critical problems. As I have seen firsthand and over these past years, you are innovators, change makers, doers, and dreamers. You make things happen. Your studies here at Columbia have taught you to take a multidimensional and ethical approach to question and challenge your beliefs, to not always follow set agendas, but to create new agendas. As a GSer, you know more than others what life can throw at you, and you know that our school and our treasured mission of recognizing and welcoming the diverse, sometimes nonlinear paths of untraditional students 
and integrating them fully into the Columbia undergraduate program has never been more important. We have never needed each and every one of you than we have in, in, in history, really. And that integration that we've had by bringing your voices, your intellect, all that you bring into the Columbia classroom, that integration is now even more realized as the class of 2024 is the first GS class to receive a Latin diploma. <laughs> And we didn't tell you that when you come to pick it up, you have to take a test to see that you can read in Latin. <laughs> you are Colombians now and forever, and you are GSers now and forever. That minimally is the shared identity that binds you to each other. We've been through a lot together, perhaps more than we ever anticipated but take seriously the importance of that bond and please remember each other as you move on to your next steps and making your mark on the world. We are truly privileged to count you as lifelong members of Columbia University, our intellectual and alumni communities. Congratulations to the class of 2024. I wish you much success going forward. I now have the pleasure to introduce your senior class president, Faith Grady. During her time, <laughs> okay. During her time at GS, Faith has not only excelled academically, but has also dedicated herself wholeheartedly to student leadership and service. From serving as an orientation leader and crew captain to her pivotal roles within the the General Studies Student Council, including her role as senior class president. Faith's commitment to her fellow students and the broader Columbia community has been unwavering. Just in these last weeks, she has been working tirelessly with the senior class presidents of the other undergraduate schools to plan this Wednesday's student-run celebration for the class of 2024. As a testament to her outstanding commitment to service and leadership, she has been honored with the GS Service Award. This year, Faith received the Dean's Citation, an award given to students who have demonstrated an ongoing commitment to outstanding leadership and service to the Columbia School of General Studies community throughout their academic tenure. Please join me in welcoming your senior class president, Faith Grady. Today is truly a class day unlike any other. It's a day we've dreamed of, yet it looks different than what we expected. We're not on campus. We can't see Lowe Library or Butler Library. And this morning, we lined up without complaints of the horrible design decisions made when creating the learner hall ramps. <laughs> Instead, we find ourselves 100 blocks away from our beloved Morningside Heights campus at a Columbia facility that to many does not feel like home. Just a week ago, we learned we would be here but even before that, we experienced a sudden loss of campus access and navigated immense confusion and uncertainty while simultaneously experiencing our final moments at Columbia. While some of us may be excited to be here, some of us may not be. Despite this complexity of emotions, today we gather to celebrate each and every one of us in our immense accomplishments. As we stand, or rather sit, Awaiting our next chapter, it's only fitting that we pause to reflect on the experiences that have molded us into the individuals about to graduate from the School of General Studies. Think back to your first day on campus, whether you were filled with excitement, nervous anticipation, or both. Think back to your first day of orientation and getting ready to begin your journey at Columbia. Remember the friendships forged, the lessons learned, and the personal triumphs that may have seemed insurmountable at the time. Regardless of what our individual journeys may have looked like, they are now nearly over. 
As this year's senior class president, I could not be more honored to have been tasked with representing you all this past year, and I could not be more proud to call you my fellow graduates. There's truly no other class that I would go to meeting after meeting for when I was in the midst of trying to finish my own final exams and papers. But finally, it is Monday, May 13th. The meetings are over, and my not-so-great final paper was turned in nearly two whole days ago. <laughs> Luckily for me, this morning we gather not only to celebrate academic achievements, but the unwavering dedication and spirit that comes with being a graduate from the School of General Studies. The class of 2024 is anything but ordinary, but I think we've known that for quite some time now. We're filled with the, the typical GS concoction of non-traditional students, but our class is also filled with student leaders and fierce advocates. From student council, peer mentors, resident advisors, orientation leaders, peer advisors, our class has done it all. We've followed in the footsteps of classes that came before us, but we've also forged our own way and shed light to the needs of the current group of non-traditional students at Columbia. Because of us, we can see that the general studies community has begun to change for the better. Just think, what other class can say they graduated with the founders of the Gay Cruise? Come rain or come shine, one thing is true for us all. We will soon be Columbia University alumni, and we will always be part of the historic class of 2024. Whether you've been here for two years, four years, eight years, or somewhere in between, you have a home in the School of General Studies. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I'm so proud to be a part of this class, and I'm so proud to be a part of the General Studies community. Thank you, Faith, and for all that you have done and will continue to do as part of your role at GS. It is with great pride and pleasure that I now introduce our alumni keynote speaker, Troy Murphy, GS Class of 2016. A native of Morristown, New Jersey, Troy began his remarkable journey at Del Barton School before embarking on an exceptional collegiate basketball career. Accepting an athletic scholarship to the University of Notre Dame, Troy made an indelible mark on the court, becoming just the fifth player in school history to score 2,000 points and the first to achieve the remarkable feat of 2,000 points and 900 rebounds. And for those who follow basketball, you know how impressive that is. <laughs> Among his many accolades, he was named a two-time consensus All-American, and he joined an elite group by winning Big East Conference Player of the Year honors for two consecutive years. Troy was selected 14th overall in the 2001 NBA draft by the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> During his 12 seasons in the NBA, in addition to Golden State, Dr Troy played for the Pacers, the Nets, the Celtics, the Lakers, and the Mavericks. In, <laughs> in 2008-2009 season, he finished third in the NBA for three-point field goal percentage and second in rebounds per game, while setting an Indiana Pacers record for rebounds in a single season with 861 rebounds. He retired from the NBA in 2012 with a career average 10.8 points and 7.8 rebounds per game. Yet Troy's journey extends far beyond the basketball courts. After hanging up his jersey, he embarked on a new chapter, pursuing the undergraduate degree at Columbia GS. He shared with me how he found GS in a very disciplined, meticulous way that Troy is known for and that how he approached his game, he approached his studies in the same way. Troy graduated magna cum laude from Columbia GS with a degree in sociology and his professors rave about his contributions to the classroom. <laughs> after, um, 
after Troy graduated, he founded Swevin Health Wealth, excuse me, a financial services organization specializing in sudden wealth recipients, exemplifying his entrepreneurial spirit and dedication to empowering those around him. His journey from the courts of Notre Dame to the boardrooms serves as a testament to the transformative power of education and determination. I had the honor to spend time with Troy in the last few months, where we realized we both are children of educators. And on that note, I welcome today Troy's mom who has joined us, Chris Murphy. Welcome. Troy did not have the opportunity to attend his class day, so this is his class day. <laughs> Troy and I also spoke about our love for GS, and Troy visited our school in March, where he had the opportunity to spend time with many of our GS students at our scholarship dinner, and then in meetings the following day, including with several of you from the class of 2024. Troy's commitment to mentorship of students and his recognition of the critical importance of a school like GS is, is inspiring and led me to invite him to be our class day speaker. I am also thrilled to share that Troy will join our GS Board of Visitors where he can work closely with us on issues of financial aid, academic excellence, and all over taking our school to even higher levels of distinction. Please join me in welcoming your class day speaker, Troy Murphy. Thank you, Dean Rosenmetsch, for such a generous introduction. Thank you also to members of the GS Board of Visitors, faculty, staff, and most importantly, you, the members of Columbia GS Class of 2024. It is an absolute pleasure to be here. I'm humbled by the invitation to share in this wonderful day. In, <laughs> in organizing my remarks, I thought about things that I would find helpful if I were in your shoes, and I feel one of the most valuable things I can impart is the role self-doubt has had in my life. In his poem, The Road Not Taken, Robert Frost wrote, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. I was drawn to Columbia because of its academic reputation and standing among the best universities in the world. I was intrigued by its diversity and location in New York City. I was inspired by the collective desire for improvement and growth among the people I spoke to. I ultimately pursued becoming a student here because the thought of it scared me. You see, an old familiar story in my head goes something like this. It says, you can't do that. That's too hard. That is not for you. Maybe you also have your own familiar story or know what I'm talking about. I remember orientation before my first semester. Everyone seemed so intelligent and sophisticated, ready to participate in discussions with well-articulated points of view. Was I smart enough? I just spent the last 12 years of my life in the MBA where everything was solved and sorted physically. How was I going to fit in? I saw my classes for that semester, and was a bit perplexed. What was this thing called university writing? <laughs> a narrative began of why this wasn't a good idea. 
But it wasn't the truth. The truth is that time after time, life has taught me that the most fulfilling pursuits are also the ones that bring on the most fear and doubt. When I lean into fear, positive outcomes follow. When I hide from fear, I usually struggle. As non-traditional students, we have all taken the road less traveled. Each one of us has a history that makes us unique. We vary in age, nationality, work experience, life experience, the path of our undergraduate education, the list goes on and on. But we are similar and assembled here today because each one of you graduates believed there was more out there for you. You wanted more for your future. You sought a challenge. Some here were rediscovering their why. Others were fanning the flames of a burning desire deep inside them. And you decided to do it here at Columbia University. Now, as non-traditional students, there are many options out there for us when it comes to higher education, all well-intentioned, adequate, and able to provide you with a fine educational experience. However, they are not this place. You chose to come here. You chose to stretch your comfort zone. You chose to lean directly into fear and doubt. You also chose excellence. You faced adversity, the possibility of failure, and came out on top. As you move on from this wonderful place and move on through life, make taking the road less traveled, the one that challenges you and scares you a habit. This university demanded greatness from you. Pursue things in life that demand the same. Winston Churchill had a quote that I often refer to for inspiration. He said, the price of greatness is responsibility. Immediately following the conclusion of each NBA season, players have what are known as exit interviews with members of their respective team's front office and coaching staffs. The point of these meetings is to candidly summarize the player's performance over the just completed season. Prior to my first year, there were high hopes. Unfortunately, my expectations that season were not met. I didn't perform as well or play as much as I would have liked. To make matters worse, the way our team roster was constructed, I couldn't see a path to things changing for the next season. There were more experienced players at my position with long-term contracts. I felt stuck. I expressed my concern during my meeting to management, and to my dismay, the response was to be patient, work hard, and that my time would come. That was not what I wanted to hear. I wanted to be told that I should have played more and that things would be different the next year. Instead, I heard a cliche that did not resonate with me. I left that meeting questioning my future with the team. I couldn't sleep that night as my mind created a story about how I was being wronged. However, as the days wore on, I realized that while I had come up with a nice story, it wasn't the truth. The truth was, I'd reached a lifelong dream, but self-doubt had taken the wheel. It told me that this was it, that I had maxed out, that this was as high as the elevator was going to go. Instead of seeing this as an opportunity to continue climbing, I chose to create a story and play the victim. I wanted easy. I wanted to be given an NBA career, or a nice, tidy reason for why it didn't happen. I was not ready for the responsibility that went along with being successful in the NBA. I viewed that responsibility as a burden rather than the precious gift that it was. The gift was the opportunity to refocus, recalibrate, and then get back to work. That realization was a turning point for me in my NBA career and life. That summer, I found myself inspired. I wrote down two seemingly crazy goals I wanted to attain the next season. One was to be in the starting lineup on opening night, and the other was to average 10 rebounds per game. 
Now, I'd be lying if I told you that my mind didn't occasionally descend into a rabbit hole of self-doubt. The story began. You can't average 10 rebounds per game. You barely played last year. Whenever I went there, I simply reminded myself to drop the story. It became a mantra, day in and day out. That summer was as much mental as it was physical. I built belief. I built confidence. I was eradicating self-doubt and excited by the opportunity to improve. I was so committed, I would set an alarm every night at 3 a.m. and get the blender going with a protein shake. My neighbors absolutely despised me. <laughs> I didn't care. I was determined. I chose to embrace the responsibility that came with success. And by the end of that season, I was one of the most improved players in the NBA. I started every game I played in and averaged over 10 rebounds per game. <laughs> Side note, I was also contacted by the condo board expressing their grave concern. <laughs> over my extensive late-night use of electrical appliances. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. What you graduates have done here is extraordinary. You have taken a dream, turned it into a goal, and made that goal a reality. With that achievement comes responsibility. Embrace that responsibility and use it as fuel to reach a higher peak. Don't be afraid of success. And always remember, never allow a story to get in the way of your truth. Today is a special day, a day of transition. It reminds me of my favorite time of year, the week between Christmas and New Year's. The presents have all been given out, the rush is over, and people are moving through life in a relaxed kind of way, ready for what's next. I enjoy that time of year because the slow pace and sense of completion provide space for reflection. Every New Year's Day, I write down a list of 10 goals for the upcoming year. They can be anything as long as they push me out of my comfort zone. Then I put the list away until the next New Year's Eve when I open it up and see what I've done over the past 12 months. At the end of last year, I talked with Dean Rosen Metch about my experience and all the wonderful things going on at Columbia. Her passion and enthusiasm were infectious and impacted me to the point that I put down on my list of goals for 2024 to become more involved at GS. It was vague, and I didn't know how I wanted to become more involved, but I just did. We set up a day where I'd spend time on campus in the coming months. The day was delightful. I attended a scholarship dinner, met with a favorite professor, and visited with current students. Then, right before I was set to leave, Dean Rosenmetsch brought up the idea of me being this year's class day speaker, and almost immediately, the old story of self-doubt came up. You can't do that. What are you going to say? However, as that story started, I knew exactly what to do. I embraced the opportunity and purposefully leaned right in. By the time I got to college walk that afternoon, I was already contemplating what to speak about today. The key is understanding that no matter where you go from here, what you decide to do, or where you work or live, self-doubt is something that will inevitably come up, and it's something you need to own. I've found that it's not about securing a starting position, averaging 10 rebounds per game, fitting in at Columbia, getting an A in university writing, or speaking here today. It's about repeatedly defeating that lying internal voice that says you can't, and stepping forward and telling the truth, which is that you most certainly can. The person who showed up at your GS orientation 
is far different than the graduate here today. Keep evolving. We here at the Columbia University School of General Studies are built differently. We are tough. We persevere. We have taken the road less traveled and are brave enough to live life creatively. Embrace the responsibility that comes with being a Columbia graduate. Keep on rising. Know the power that's inside of you. It is always, always you versus you. And success is your responsibility. It has been a great honor to be here today. I want to thank you. Wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. You did it. Thank you, Troy. That was inspiring and amazing, and we are so excited to have you continue to work with us here at GS. Each year, the Alumni Key is awarded to a senior who has achieved distinction both academically and through service to the undergraduate community. I want to thank Elizabeth Bierman, GS Class of 1998, and the Columbia Alumni Association representative for being here to help me present this award. Elizabeth, come on up. I'm now going to announce and ask the recipient to come up while I say some words. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the 2024 Alumni Key Award recipient, Davey Liu. During his tenure at Columbia GS, Davey, who had previously served as an officer in the United States Navy, has been, <laughs> has been a true leader, particularly in advocating for the LGBTQ plus community. <laughs> both within GS and the university at large. As president of GS Alliance, Davey spearheaded initiatives to create a more inclusive and vibrant community, hosting over 50 weekly events and collaborating with the GS Student Council to foster a sense of belonging among students. Davey's impact extended beyond campus boundaries, as evidenced by his collaboration with the Columbia Queer Alliance to host the inaugural Columbia Queer Cruise and a spectacular undergraduate event this semester that screened the film Cured that commemorated the 50th anniversary of the American Psychiatric Association's removing homosexuality from the DSM. These are just some examples of many of Davy's advocacy and dedication to social justice. In addition to his leadership within the LGBTQ community, Davy served in various capacities, including as an orientation leader, summer coordinator for the GS Science Foundation Summer Bridge Program, chair of inclusion for the University Life Event Council, and GS veteran mentor. He has advocated for increased financial aid for GS students and has led seminal research on increasing the delivery of HIV testing in clinical settings, a project funded by the NIH that he led working with me in my research program. Davey's commitment to service and excellence has been recognized at GS through awards such as the GS Change Agent Award and the GS Service Award and he has also been awarded the Catherine Medallia Johannet Memorial Summer Fellowship from the Columbia Institute for Comparative Literature and Society, and an award most recently from the University of Miami's Institute for AIDS Research. 
as Davy embarks to prepare on the next chapter of his academic journey at Cambridge, where he will pursue a master's program in population health sciences, we commend him for his exemplary leadership. Thank you, Davy Liu, for your dedication to our GS community, and congratulations on being the GS Alumni Key Award recipient. Okay, now I am pleased this, to present the 8th Annual Campbell Award, which is given to a student from each school at Columbia University who shows exceptional leadership and Columbia spirit as exemplified by the late Bill Campbell, Columbia College Class of 1962, Teachers College Class of 1964, Chair Emeritus of the Board of Trustees and co-founder of the Columbia Alumni Association. This year's Campbell Award is presented to Ebony Goodfield. And please join us on the stage. And so I can say some remarks about Ebony. Ebony embodies the essence of a Columbia GS student, a veteran, a dedicated mother, and a trailblazing, brilliant first-generation scholar. Like many of our graduates, Ebony juggles the rigors of academia with the demands of life beyond the lecture halls. Since enrolling in 2019, Ebony's commitment to service and leadership for GS and the wider university has been evident in every facet of her Columbia experience. Her tenure as Vice President of the Military Veterans of Columbia University, the largest student veteran organization in the Ivy League, underscores her dedication to supporting fellow veterans, but in particular, she has been deeply committed in supporting women veterans. I've been fortunate to work side by side with her on several initiatives in this important area. Ebony works with me to take the Women Veterans Dean's Roundtable to new heights, fostering dialogue and empowerment among female veterans with leaders across academia and industry. She was an invaluable partner, leader, and founder in establishing the Entrepreneurial Leadership Fellows Program, building Columbia GS, with Barnard College's Athena Leadership Center to nurture leadership skills among service members and Barnard students. This year, just in the last few months, Ebony founded a new student group at Columbia University, the Women Veterans of Columbia University. In terms of making her mark on Columbia, I know that she is very proud, and we are extremely grateful for Ebony's courageous and momentous work on addressing bullying and prioritizing this as a university initiative and new policies that came forth. Ebony was awarded the GS Change Agent Award, recognized as a Columbia Alumni Association Scholar, and now stands as a Cone Veteran Scholar, courtesy of a generous gift from the Stephen and Alexandra Cohen Foundation. And I know that also recognizing her is Keith Goggin, who is a former chair of the Columbia Alumni Association, 
who helped create that scholarship program, the Columbia Alumni Association Scholar. I am thrilled to share that Ebony will be staying at Columbia next year as she begins the master's, the MSF, excuse me, MSW program at Columbia University School of Social Work. Congratulations, <laughs> Ebony. And thank you for your enormous contributions to Columbia. It is my privilege, thank you, Elizabeth. Okay. It is my privilege to now present to you the salutatorian of the Columbia GS class of 2024, who I will ask to come to the stage, Matthew George Botros. <laughs> Matthew's journey to this momentous occasion is as unique as it is inspiring. Originally from Brooklyn, New York, Matthew... <laughs> California? Oh, you know what? Originally, well, 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 you'll be an honorary member of Brooklyn. Originally from California, Matthew is not only a dedicated scholar, but also a formidable competitor in the realm of boxing. With an unwavering commitment to his craft, Matthew trains six days a week while pursuing his undergraduate degree. Matthew's collegiate journey began six years ago in California, so we got that right, um, <laughs> where he embarked on his academic pursuits at the University of California, Berkeley. <laughs> However, a quest for purpose led him on a transformative path that ultimately brought him to New York City and the world of boxing. It was here that Matthew discovered his passion for understanding the intersection between addiction and neuroscience. Returning to academia at Columbia GS, Matthew immersed himself in the study of psychology, working closely with his professors in the Department of Psychology who have the most glowing things to say about Matthew, and contributing to scholarly discourse with publications in esteemed journals. Beyond the classroom, Matthew's commitment to making a difference extended to his work with Boxer Inc., where he served as a boxing coach in the New York City public school system. Named to the Dean's List and a member of the GS Honor Society and just elected last week to Phi Beta Kappa, Matthew graduates summa cum laude with a major in psychology and a concentration in business management. As Matthew prepares to embark on his next chapter, he will make his debut in professional boxing. Please join me in congratulating Matthew George Botros, our 2024 salutatorian, whose remarkable achievements and unwavering determination epitomize the spirit of excellence that defines the Columbia GS community. Congratulations, Matthew. Okay, I am now going to invite up here your amazing Dean of Students, Marlon Delva. who will get to the part that you've all been waiting for, and I know all the family and friends here have been waiting for. We will now be calling our graduates to the stage. Dean Rosen Metch, it is my true distinct honor and privilege to present to you the, the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts. We will begin with our first student, who unfortunately is unable to be here today. She was in a car accident on Friday, is doing well, but I promised that we would call her name in acknowledgement of this celebration, Valerie Perez.
Davy Lou. Logan Allen. Kalfani Mathudi. Sorry, I was supposed to call out the majors too. Okay, it's a morning. Avery Maldonado, Major Financial Economics. Christopher Nagel, Major Psychology, Sociology. <laughs> Dean Gelling, Major Environmental Science. <laughs> Liam Asu Edmund Etty, Major Political Science. <laughs> Jermaine Ralliford, Major Political Science. Coltrane Mosley Jones, Major Economics, Political Science. Anne Hellman, Major English. Yi Ji Sun, Major Cognitive Science. Kambi Gathesha, Major History. Isabella Radivo, Major English. <laughs> Ali Minsa Yunez, Major History. <laughs> Gabrielle Mangum Lehman, Major Earth Sciences. Noah Siegel, Major Financial Economics. Katie O'Sullivan, Major Medical Humanities. Lola Hakarvi, Major Music. Or, or Shushin, Major Information Sciences. Victoria Kontovich, Major American Studies. <laughs> Leah Ten Eich, Major Cognitive Science. <laughs> Peter Brown, Major Political Science. <laughs> Netta Eliyahu, Major Political Science and Business. Motohiro Rama Yamasaki, Major East Asian Studies. <laughs> Raymond Yoon, Major Computer Science. <laughs> Thomas Doyle, Major Economics. <laughs> Trishen Wong, Major Computer Science. AJ Cephas, Major Computer Science. Grant Kaler, Major History. Dallas Scott, Major Computer Science. Camilla Abarca Blanche, Major Human Rights. John Cooper, Major Political Science. Neve Levy, Major Political Science. <laughs> Michaela Parkin, Major Human Rights. Karen Rosenblum, Major Creative Writing. Gianna Campa, Major Psychology. Christopas Pachuskas, Major Information Sciences, Philosophy. Hassan Ajili, Major Psychology. Sarah Wahedi, Major Urban Studies. 
Shivan Sharma, Major Information Sciences. Matthew Smith, Major Creative Writing. Lucille Milligan, Major History. Kaja Haruk, Major Applied Mathematics. Lydia Juline, Major Urban Studies. Oh, Jay Lee Rose, Major Biological Sciences. Lucy Davis, Major Comparative Literature and Society. Linda Malvili Perla Correa, Major Economics. Alexander Mize, Major Computer Science. Melanie Cully, Major Cognitive Science. Terry Rivenbark, Major History. <laughs> Chanel Thom, Major History. Janae Stefanik, Major Economics, Political Science. Christopher Gordon, Major Political Science. Beckham Bruca, Major Political Science. Monica Haynes, Major Economics. Katrina Lemerick, Major Psychology. Abigail Krupnik, Major Classical Studies. Karen Fabian, Major History. Joshua Leonard, Major History. Liam McGrain, and Guest, Major Computer Science Philosophy. Eric Yu, Major Economics. Jacob De Rothschild, Major Computer Science Economics. James Turner, Major Economics Philosophy. Matthew Haros, Major Ethnicity and Race Studies. Rafael Rajola, Major Economics. Luca Benzimra Swildens, Major Philosophy. Rodrigo Magdalenat, Major Economics. Leah Honorat, Major Sustainable Development. Anita Zhu, Major Mathematics. Chenin He, Major Physics. John Rashke, Major Political Science. Adam Frank, Majors History Political Science. Jackson Kemper, Major Sustainable Development. Daniel Fidela, Fidelisai Harvey, Major Data Science. Ethan Zhang, Major Economics. Matthew Wild, Major Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. <laughs> Michael Landis, Major Creative Writing. <laughs> Sasha Newman Octon, Major Cognitive Science. Edgar Flores, Major Sustainable Development. Mana Shimamura, Major History. Rachel Sullivan, Major Mathematics. Matthew Botros, Major Psychology. Colin Heath, Major Architecture. Evan Whitehouse, Major Computer Science. Jose Fernandez Vargas, 
major information science. Justin Wilson, major biological sciences. Yu Yen Lu, major computer science. Yan Lin Wu, major computer science. Alyssa Shodiev Kalf, major comparative literature and society. Eliana Aiken, major neur neuroscience and behavior political science. Seagal Alchek, major applied mathematics. Hannah Weininger, major cognitive science. Francesca Ciudella, Major Biological Sciences. Sabella Moffitt, Major English. Cinziana Stanchu, Major History. Sania Magzumov, Major Art History and Visual Arts. Sandra Anderson, Major Financial Economics. Naresh Singh, Major Financial Economics. Oh, oh, oh. Huang Liao, Major Mathematics. Oh. Shintan Chi, Major Computer Science. Oh. Heyuan Yao, Major Mathematics Statistics. Oh. Jakash Chu, Major Computer Science. Oh. Yu Cheng Wang, Major Computer Science. Si Yuan Q, Applied Mathematics Physics. Catherine Tamorelli, Major English. Batu Buyakbezgi, Buyuk Major Political Science. Luke, Luke Hillian, Major History Political Science. Jason Kyungjin Park, Major Political Science. Jonah Cho, Major Financial Economics. Dayu Kim, Major Economics. Young Yu, Major Economics. Robin? Robin Lim, Major Economics. Goyang Park, Major Economics. Jason Juice Koo, Major Financial Economics. Kirsten Abe, Major Psychology. Danielle Barvisky, Major Applied Mathematics. Noah Friedman Nathan, Major Biological Sciences. Blake Garber, Major Applied Mathematics. Jacob Schwalbe, Major Philosophy. Ezra Deanim, Major Political Science. Caleb Holzheyer, Major Financial Economics. Daniel Barth, Major History. Jason Block, Major Financial Economics. <laughs> Young J. Lee, Major Financial Economics. <laughs> Young Hugh, Major Computer Science. Po Ting Chang, Computer Science and Mathematics. Victor Waters, Middle Eastern, South Asian and African <laughs> Studies. Lorenzo Ibrahim, Middle Eastern, South Asian and African Studies. Francesca Gamba, Sustainable Development. <laughs> Louis Decotte, Major History. Roman? 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 Roman Cabanes, Major Political Science. Alan, Alan Guao, Major Economics. <laughs> Zelda Nelson, Major Mathematics. Emmy Mizumoto, Major Computer, Comparative Literature and Society. Roshin Casey, Major Human Rights. 
Louise Desmachiel, Major Sociology. Clemence Roy, Major Human Rights. Ching Hin Lee, Political Science. Patrick Kwok, Political Science. Joshua Okanov, Major Computer Science. Dominic Prendergast, Major Sociology. Natalie Sanchez, Computer Science and Mathematics. William Hull, Political Science. Jacqueline Shen Yi, Political Science. Jamie Bishop, History. Emma McCarthy, Psychology. Montana Rush, Rush, Made English. Jack Young, Major Financial Economics. Joseph Amard, Political Science. Matthew? Matthew, okay. Matthew Crespel, Major Financial Economics. Axel Martin, Major Financial Economics. Alex Maziez, Major Human Rights. Kiara Lou Pariad, Major Human Rights. Electra Papanasiu Goldstein, History. Elizabeth Barnett, Sustainable Development. Emily Procelli, Major Political Science. Ma Ma Matthew Lay, Major Financial Economics. Aaron Babus, Major Financial Economics. Ignacio Leon, Major Film and Media Studies. Bianca Barrera, Major History. Charlotte Coates, Major Mathematics. Emmanuel Gassel, Major Computer Science and Mathematics. Kamanat Setpatanache, Major English. King Yu Wang, Major Neuroscience and Behavior. Aster Kasusol, Major Psychology. Viola Kwan, Major Computer Science. Jian Kum, Major Political Science. Ching Yu Ye, Major Mathematics Statistics. Roger Villarreal, Major Sociology. Christopher Jean, Major Computer Science and Mathematics, East Asian Studies. Sean Cabotra, Major Economics. Ethan Jahalu, Major Computer Science. Camden Pulkinen, Major Psychology. Jack Lee Zhang, Major Computer Science. Nicholas Hong, Major Financial Economics. Crystal Cook, History. Brian Tran, Anthropology. Andrew Chi, East Asian Studies. Prusotam Bajan, Computer Science. Dacia John, Computer Science. <laughs> Kathleen Ferreira Nunez, Financial Economics. <laughs> Zia Kara, Computer Science. <laughs> Brian Zhang, Computer Science. <laughs> Dabo Guaya, Major Economics, Mathematics. Nicholas Tom, Sustainable Development. 
Taejong Woo, Sustainable Development. Kyung Hee Kim, Film and Media Studies. Zachariah Connor, Mathematics Statistics. Julio Rodriguez, Financial Economics. Andrea Diacono, Sustainable Development. Victoria Dower, Architecture. Davis Hodge, Architecture. Justin Schachter, Political Science. Arlo Parker, Applied Mathematics and Financial Economics. Madison Watkins, Human Rights. Asher Dionim, Economics. Daniela Cohen, Psychology. Astrid Abadia, Political Science. Rachel Neplock, Psychology. Elliot Sadoff, Political Science. Julia Kaiser, Linguistics. Simone Sedmer, Political Science. Sonia Paznansky, Biological Sciences. Jocelyn, right? Just Jocelyn Ponce, Political Science. Elias? El Elias. Thank you. Elias Legman, History. Tianzi Gao, Financial Economics. Elon Ding, Architecture. Galan Ding, Financial Economics. Han Chang Yang, Architecture. Yiming Yao, Financial Economics. Mo, Mo Tinza Kain, Major Psycholo Philosophy Psychology. Myung Hin Bei, Major Neuroscience and Behavior. Jing, Jing Jing Zhao, Psychology. Ruju Wang, Psychology. Katsi Catherine Chang, Linguistics. Sanai Heiss, Linguistics. Laura Balski, Psychology. Kalam Tricard, Economics, Political Science. Four. Pauline Foe, Sustainable Development. Inez, Inez Ben Taher, Financial Economics. Capucine, Capucine Raim, Human Rights, Political Science. Clara Lillier, Film and Media Studies. Mason Nguyen, Sustainable Development. Shi Hu Hua, Philosophy. <laughs> Rebecca Xiao, Philosophy. Ellie? Ellie Dasapolos, Comparative Literature and, so Comparative Literature and Society Sci Psychology. Alexander Kurangonsky, History, Theory of Architecture. Stacy Yao, Computer Science. Joelle Moon, Psychology. Sung Jin Park, Financial Economics. Joshua Joe Wong, Financial Economics. Wang Ji Wesley Choi, Financial Economics. Zeri Chan, Financial Economics, Mathematics, Statistics. Han King Chu, Financial Economics. Brandon V. Nugan, 
Psychology. Luc Su, Computer Science. Mercedes Fernandez Garcia, Film and Media Studies. Samuel Nahins, Creative Writing. Dominique Hinestrosa, Creative Writing, Ethnicity and Race Studies. Anthony Costanzo, East Asian Studies, Political Science. Julia Zakarian, Slavic Studies. Jeffrey Mock, Computer Science. Bilal Gutu, Computer Science. Anna Torres, Sustainable Development. Carol Chen, Comparative Literature and Society. Selin Mordenis, Financial Economics. Ashley Adams, East Asian Studies. Jacqueline Flores, Creative Writing. Drew Henderson, Linguistics. Imogene Schwartz, Biological Sciences. McKenna Shioni, Creative Writing. Xi Ning Chang, Human Rights. Melina Zacharias, Human Rights. Grace Kraft, Classical Studies. Anna Rath, History. Kylie Seward, Earth Sciences. Lara Walsh, Neuroscience and Behavior. Lydia Lee, Film and Media Studies. Eric Molin, Computer Science. Adam Voigt, Evolution and Biology of the Human Species. Christine Yoon, Art History and Visual Arts. Chan Yen Zin, Computer Science. Carmen Wu, Computer Science. Sin Yu Hu, Human Rights. Nadia Artiva, Economics. <laughs> Melissa Samwa, Human Rights. Lushi, Lushi, uh, Financial Economics. Sarah Noon, Political Science. Benjamin Vittinson, Economics Philosophy. Lilinaz Hakimi, Film and Media Studies. Aya Abdul El Marachi, Financial Economics. Kevin Yu, Psychology. Chin Chen Zhang, Computer Science. Taishi Takeda, Biological Sciences. Vince Charles Ambao, Political Science. Tom Ch Chalamish, Psychology. Alyssa Scott Cole, English. Trevor Roper, Environmental Biology. Eileen Rodriguez, Psychology. John Smith, History. Veronica Martinez Castro, Environmental Biology. Samantha Da Silva Mora, Environmental Science. Altrim Mamuti, Environmental Biology. Yang Chi Kwa, English. Dana Krantz, Philosophy. D'Angelo Hunter, Political Science. Ebony Goodfield, Psychology. Faith Grady, Visual Arts. Izzy Furlow, Visual Arts. 
Jennifer Odom, psychology. Moya Schuess, sociology. Bakhatavar, Biophysics. <laughs> Celeste Abrugeli, Political Science. <laughs> Sophia Angeli, Information Sciences. <laughs> Maxence Genouville, Psychology. Elena Grant, Psychology. Damon Taylor, Film and Media Studies. Melanie McComb, Music. James Gasper, East Asian Studies. Avedon Brown, Political Science. Caleb Bowen, English. Christy Khan, Psychology. Joshua Berjoshin, Political Science. Beautiful. Emma Matuoto, Religion. Just say something. Oh, okay. Samantha Anderson and Sunday Anderson Nevins, African American Studies. Fragali. Fragali. Cristina Fragali, Architecture. Alpha Salio Ba, Computer Science. Ferdinando Castro Gonzalez, Political Science. Serena Sarkatch, English. Laura Baruch, Psychology. Lily Marella, Political Science. Okay. Alex Hill, Financial Economics. Alexis Ong, Economics. Judah Waba, Information Sciences. Ayunil Wizan, S Sustainable Development. James Foley, American Studies. Iman Asayadud, English. Melody Gomez, Neuroscience and Behavior. Amanda Jones, Psychology. Ashley Go, Financial Economics. Laura Meller, Italian. Rachel Blue with Kennedy, Psychology. Padone. Monica Padone, Major Italian. Richard Xavier Mercado, Psychology. Sardar Yilmaz, Financial Economics. Francis Skihan, Financial Economics. Benjamin Greenberg, Economics. Anna Maitland, Economics. Aaron Arduini, English. Hu Ting Huang, Major Cognitive Science, Economics. Omar Nunez, Financial Economics. Juara Siahalo, Political Science. Sierra Ball, Architecture. Will Anderson, Economics.
Catherine Deneen, Computer Science. <laughs> Valentino Vitale, Computer Science. Oriomi? Oriomi Adelie, Computer Science. Romy Littman, Information Science. <laughs> Lee Zanini, C Cognitive Science. Asher Grant Sasson, Religion. Jessica Skull, German Literature and Cultural History. Nuriko Nishihima, Computer Science. Daniel Murphy, Computer Science. Tara Worley, Computer Science. Christina Cayetano, Evolution and Biology of the Human Species. Miranda Watier, Psychology. Ken Mura, Computer Science and Mathematics. Sadar Manet Janov, Computer Science. Robert Ren Pang, History. Madison Hugh, Creative Writing. Alexander Nayev, Computer Science. Aditya Krishna, Financial Economics. Zubin Chandra, Financial Economics. Lily Zurevitz, Psychology. Hujek? Sylvia Hujek, Psychology. Frank Sapala, Political Science. Yeah. Brennan Bickford, Computer Science. Yeah. Ellie Holtzheyer, Film and Media Studies. Yeah. Elon Levine, Film and Media Studies. Mimi Broche, Film and Media Studies. Natalie Catalan, Psychology. Rachel Gadean, Psychology. Ariella Mitchell, American Studies. Alyssa Postelnik, Computer Science. Isabella Dayani, Evolutionary Biology of the Human Species. Emma Rose Greengold, Neuroscience and Behavior. Max Shane, Computer Science. Sophie Hannon, Sustainable Development. Leigh Baxter, Environmental Biology. Ada Basser, Political Science. Ainoa Petri Hildalgo, Sustainable Development. Rose Levine, Neuroscience and Behavior. Jessica Chang, Sustainable Development. Juliana Lozada, Human Rights. Gabrielle Hodes, so Sociology. Isabella Aoud Arel, Political Science. Anna Valeria Vasquez Navas, Sustainable Development. Daniel Leal de Mores Santana, Sustainable Development. Charlotte Biochi, Political Science. Andrea Koenigs, Art History. Paris Cuesta Sistili, Political Science. Nicholas Ching, Computer Science. Haley Lamb, Financial Economics. Jeffrey Orr, Economics. Rachel Custin, Political Science. It Itai Gerhardsman, Political Science Statistics. Lisa Parafoko, History. 
Joshua Breeze, Political Science. Efron Ahmad, Political Science. Jesse Valverde, Computer Science. Gianna Ugali, Anthropology. Jamie Velez, Creative Writing. Brian Gebhardt, Psychology. Nicholas Holser, Computer Science. Benjamin Pinchuk, Financial Economics. Charmaine Shayuko, Climate, Climate System Science. Baptiste? Baptiste? Baptiste Saez, Economics. Ajay Fiskin, Economics. Maram Gadala, Economics. Haley Schultz, English. Ji Hoon Sun, Computer Science. Soa Park, Biochemistry. Sheena Yang, Computer Science. Akira Kameyama, Psychology. Jade Solis, Psychology. Aaron Koshner, Psychology. Sarah Wilson, Environmental Science, Sustainable Development. <laughs> Hannah Richmond, Women and Gender Studies. <laughs> Hannah Lipman, English. <laughs> Claire Diao, Sustainable Development. Bryce Fagel. Bryce Fagel, English. Christopher Muncy, Human Rights. Dennis Cruz, Astrophysics. Zachary Magalones, Economics. Claire Donaldson, Psychology. Kale Manjarez, English. San Winter, Applied Mathematics. Andrew Poinches, Sustainable Development. <laughs> Emily Polaya, Archaeology. <laughs> Dominique Jensen, Environmental Science. <laughs> Gabriella Gregor Splaffer, Film and Media Studies. <laughs> Jesse Morris, Anthropology. <laughs> Daniel Carvello Santos, History. Did you skip? Gieski. Noah Gieski, Political Science. Benz Taylor, English. Alexander Mark Sensier, Economics. Savannah Wayne, Film and Media Studies. Anna Nam, Sociology. Elizabeth Kim, Cognitive Science. Isabel Seiler, Art History. Kerry Kendrick, Political Science. Samantha Blumenfeld, Visual Arts. Emily Seeler, Computer Science, Visual Arts. Hannah Matuk, Visual Arts. Emmanuel Arias Goltz, Art History and Visual Arts. Jacob Irwin, Information Science. Shane Tim, Sociology. Bradley Pritchard, Economics. Austin Paul Poulin, Political Science. Nathan Soundiger, Psychology. Grace Cho, Psychology. Katya Bulin, Psychology. Raha Shara Flari, Psychology. Angie Maldonado Rodriguez, Psychology. Martha Lebron, Psychology. Laura Rivera, Neuroscience and Behavior. 
Yang Jun Cho, Statistics. Yusak Park, Computer Science. Minsu Park, Financial Economics. Min Sung Kim, Financial Min Sung Kim, Financial Economics. Ali Woodard, Political Science. <laughs> Leah Gorzgalski, Financial Economics. <laughs> Louis Shabata, East Asian Studies. Skylar Cal Calkins, Film and Media Studies. <laughs> Caroline Higgins, Computer Science, Mathematics, History. Avine Dylan Kelly, Political Science. Chun Young Hu, Financial Economics. Henry Sears, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. Anais Middleberg, English. Julia Fernald, Neuroscience and Behavior. Isabel Canalejo, History. Leila O'Rourke, Political Science. Maria Del Valle Garcia Lopez, Cognitive Science. Katie Peters, Film and Media Studies, Psychology. Emmanuel Woodimu, Anthropology. Philip Gilstrap, Film and Media Studies. Catherine Powell, Anthropology. Nicholas Feibel, Computer Science. Sorry, Nick. Grange Nagy, Computer Science. Rotem Weiss, Computer Science. Omer Naur, Computer Science, Financial Economics. Maytar Asher, Computer Science. Noam Zaid, Computer Science. Gal Kadem, Computer Science. Omer Avatan, Economics. Donna Harlap, Psychology. Stav Slama, Political Science. E.R. Shani, Neuroscience and Behavior. Eden Salkai, Neuroscience and Behavior. Nohar Sagal, Psychology. Guy Zinder, Economics. Ido Devash, Economic Statistics. Yi Fang Liu, Neuroscience and Behavior. Dylan Mercado, Neuroscience and Behavior. Judy Wu, Computer Science. Remy Kaldawi, Mathematics. Aaron Kennedy, History. Chloe, Chloe Hayden, Comparative Literature and Society History. Anata Tanti Wong, History, Theory of Architecture. Jemima, Jemima Tilly Kingdon Jones, English. <laughs> Catherine Rothstein, History. <laughs> Oliver Neal, Political Science. Catherine Zimmerman, Political Science. Savannah Shulkin, Political Science. Treylock O'Sullivan, History. Michael Gonzalez, History. Baltazar Sheehan, History. Jack Torres, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. Gloria Roberto, Middle Eastern, South Asian, and African Studies. Justine Nicholson, Neuroscience and Behavior. Brent? Brent. Kyle Brandt, Computer Science. Nathaniel? Nathaniel Kwan, Political Science. Ashish Dubey, Economics, Political Science. Courtney Kennedy, Sociology. 
Amber Diaz, Film and Media Studies. Lisa Ronan, Creative Writing. Ni nee Mundy, Creative Writing. Paola Espinosa, Human Rights. Karen Bogo Santana, Sociology. Shira McKelly, Human Rights. Solomon Fox, Sociology. El Alicia, Alicia Va Malomet, Archaeology. Alan Cohen, Urban Studies. Rachel Nielsen, Medical Humanities. Jeremy Faust, Political Science. Julia Goldberg, Linguistics. Rebecca Newman, Mathematics Statistics. Ama Mukbayar, Urban Studies. Tofel Nuruddin, Middle Eastern, South Asian, African Studies, Philosophy. Miranda Branford, Financial Economics. Albain. Albain Probert, Political Science. Cecile Toussaint, Political Science. Megan Grohl, English. Oriana Merer, Political Science. Susanna Lethram, English. Jeremy Levinson, Philosophy. Benjamin Williams, Financial Economics. Danielle Hewitt, Political Science. Mohammed Guman, Political Science. Kelly Capuano, Political Science. Kevin Garanta, Political Science. Hyo and Kang, Computer Science and Mathematics. Daniel Wang, Financial Economics. Eugene Lee, Data Science. Alexander. <laughs> Alexander Levinson, Philosophy. <laughs> Julia Levayev, Data Science. <laughs> Daniela Gonzalez Chavez, Financial Economics. <laughs> Evan Etienne, Political Science. Elias Goldstein, Political Science. Matthew Vitello, Philosophy. Brock Walker, Economics, Political Science. Natalie Casey, Political Science, Women and Gender Studies. Nadia Yamani, Sociology. Sky Kupig, Film and Media Studies. Semi Mook, Psychology. Nadira Mustafa, Psychology. Jessica Roman Mastacero, Music. Pema Tamang, Sociology. Kyung Woo Song, Computer Science. Joshua. Joshua Guys, Mathematics. Jacob Clay, Mathematics. Lucas Sotu Manning, Neuroscience and Behavior. Holta Stoku, Financial Economics. Vigilio. Vigilio. Vigilio Ubostando, Economics. Nan Nguyen, Computer Science. Natalie Kolodova, Psychology. 
Ryan Najak, Computer Science. Kareem Al Hamad, Computer Science, Religion. Edward Molina, Sociology. Ro Rojin, Rojin Kashani, Music. Terry Foley, Computer Science, Music. Avery Way, Financial Economics. Nicholas DeCostanzo, Visual Arts. Mm. Mm. B.U. Wang, Financial Economics. Iru Chen, Psychology. Anil Mahoney, Data Science. Wyan Wazorek, Cognitive Science. Weston Goodman, Film and Media Studies. Min Choi, Economics. Edward Kennedy, Psychology. Last but not least, Arsh Ashdir, Economics. Congratulations to the class of 2024. for the back, all the family, friends, for the class of 2024. <laughs> and at the end, you'll have the choice to throw your hats or your owls. It'll be up to you. And let me just say, it's only a GS that we saw so many beautiful children walk across the stage. Uh, we could not be more proud. And beautiful pets as well. <laughs> so finally, it is my deep honor to welcome to the podium the GS class of 2024 valedictorian Shezwan Wang. And I'm going to say a few words about you, and then we will get to hear your remarks. Originally from China, Shezhuan embarked on his scholarly odyssey through the joint bachelor's degree program between the City University of Hong Kong and Columbia University. And Shezhuan is the first valedictorian from the City U Hong Kong program. Something. At City U, Jejuan majored in computer science, and he did that as well at Columbia. While studying in Hong Kong, Shuizhen distinguished himself with accolades such as the prestigious Hong Kong Jockey Club Scholarship and the esteemed title of JC Scholar. His commitment to academic excellence was matched only by his dedication to enhancing campus life where he served in various leadership roles and contributed tirelessly to the academic community. Transitioning seamlessly to Columbia, Shrezhen continued to excel, earning recognition through scholarships and awards that underscored his remarkable leadership and service. His academic achievements include working with faculty on cutting edge research, participating as a co-author on publications, and participating in campus activities. These all exemplify the spirit of excellence and commitment that he brought to the Columbia GS community. 
Today, Shezhuan graduates summa cum laude with a major in computer science. He was inducted last Friday to Phi Beta Kappa. He is also an <laughs> Upsilon Pi Epsilon and the GS Honor Society. And Shezhuan was also just named as the recipient of the Jonathan L. Gross Award for Academic Excellence in Computer Science. His academic journey is far from over. Shezhuan will commence his PhD studies specializing in computer graphics at Hong Kong University of Sciences and Technology where he aspires to contribute to the development of the visual effects industry in Hong Kong and China. Please welcome to here now, Shezhuan Wang, your GS 2024 valedictorian. Thanks so much for this nice introduction. Um, good morning, Dean Rosen Match. Our speaker, Choi Murphy, esteemed administration, faculty, family, alumni, friends, and most importantly, my fellow graduates of Columbia School of General Studies, class of 2024. Congratulations! <laughs> It is both a profound honor and a daunting challenge to stand before you today as your valedictorian. At GS, each of our journeys defies convention. We were a vibrant mosaic of veterans, seasoned professionals, accomplished artists, dedicated scholars, innovative entrepreneurs, skilled craftsmen, passionate activists, insightful educators, and our famous NBA players, <laughs> <laughs> and students who began our undergrad journey at other institutions across the globe. As the students who traversed the joint degree program between City University of Hong Kong and Columbia, I found myself, paradoxically, to be the most traditional among the untraditional. <laughs> so when I was honored so I was granted the honor of delivering this valedictory address. I find myself asking, time and again, how can I, someone with all the extraordinary life experience that many of you possess, find something to speak about that encapsulates our shared values, our achievements on this campus, and the future we are about to embark on? Unfortunately, I do have a Chinese lyric that has gradually become my life motto thanks to all the meaningful interactions I've had with many of you here. And I really wish I'm the guy who can sing it aloud to you in Chinese, but I'm sorry, I'm a terrible singer. So, so I probably will... Yeah! <laughs> So I probably will just translate it into English, and uh, here it goes. The word urges you to strive for fame and success, but sincerity is the greatest skill of all. Though, though originally about love in the song, I personally think this philosophy transcends all aspects in our lives, encouraging us to be authentic in our interactions, whether with acquaintances, with our loved ones, or perhaps most significantly, with ourselves. And that is precisely what I have learned from each of you, my fellow peers. In our college life, Columbia has granted us access to the boundless opportunities in New York City, a privilege that is accelerating yet sometimes overwhelming, at times leaving us feeling lost at the very beginning. 
Moreover, outsiders often view Ivy League students as the emblems of success, destined to become some future scientists, renowned artists, writers, Wall Street tycoons, or Silicon Valley innovators. The, these are certainly admirable careers, but they're just not for everyone, at, at least not for me. And in a city where everything seems possible and with access to all those opportunities, it's just too easy to find ourselves chasing those predefined notions of success. Yet in doing so, we risk not confronting ourselves with sincerity, failing to question whether this path generally align with who we are and what we truly value. Luckily, at GS, we have a community where sincerity flourishes. As many of you came here with clear visions shaped by your rich life experience and your non-traditional path, I found GS, or perhaps more broadly, Columbia, a perfect place to have discussions with people from all walks of life, who remarkably are my peers. I've had the privilege to meet a GS student who, after a decade as a successful legal counsel, began a new journey as a biomedical student. I have conversed with a professional photographer after a decade in this field, began to pursue his second bachelor's degree in English literature. Sometimes even beyond GS, I met faculty members with inspiring stories, like one who worked as a software engineer in Microsoft for many years, and then earned his PhD in literature, who now serves as a professor in the English department. My friends, it is through your stories that I have learned not to be hindered by sunk costs. That being sincere to ourselves liberates us from the shackles of external expectations. Even it seems to mean giving up all what we have established and accomplished. Here at GS, I believe if we choose to innovate in Silicon Valley, it's because we generally want to shape the future, perhaps by, I don't know, beating those folks in meta and making metaverse a reality. <laughs> and if we decide to return to, the, to our farm, it's probably because we value the time spent with our loved ones and we cherish that lifestyle. Each path is now chosen for its prestige but for its sincere alignment with our deepest value. Therefore, if I were to name one quality that unites us as GS students, I would say it proudly. Sincerity. The word urges us to strive for fame and success. But sincerity is our greatest skill of all. And finally, to indulge in a personal little whim, I want to quote one of the greatest artists, musicians, singer-songwriters, producers, directors, actresses, and businesswomen, Taylor Swift. <laughs> From, from her address two years ago at NYU. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she, she said, and I quote her, the scary news is, you are on your own now. But the cool news is, you are on your own now. <laughs> Here at GS, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I'm a terrible singer. That 
I just can't. <laughs> here, here at GS, I believe we have all learned how to listen to ourselves and thrive on our own now. Congratulations again to the class of 2024. Thank you, Shui Zhen, for those very amazing, inspiring. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2024. Okay, let me now say a final congratulations to the treasured graduates of the class of 2024, your amazing family members in this room, your loved ones, and your friends. I am honored to be your dean, and for, to be your dean for years to come, to be in our... In this strong Columbia GS alumni community, each and every one of you embodies in a spectacular way the mission and vision of GS and Columbia. I hope you will stay involved with your Columbia family far into the future. Now I invite you to continue the celebration of our amazing graduates at the class day reception to be held on Ansel Plaza on the Columbia Morningside campus. As you exit, there will be student marshals ready to guide you. Since we are all headed to the same place, I ask that our guests remain seated and allow the stage party to exit first. I also ask our graduates to stand and remain in place for a class photograph, after which our graduates will exit, followed by family and friends. Class of 2024, please rise. And we're going to take the class picture. Friends and family, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for allowing the stage party to exit. 
Once you begin to exit, we need you to continue to exit out of the soccer field and onto the street. You will have many photo opportunities at Morningside Heights. We do have another ceremony very soon, so we ask that you please exit as quickly and as safely as possible. Thank you and congratulations to our graduates.